Hello, this is Leroy Meadows, and I want to thank you for joining me here. In this session, we're going to be doing an example of fixed manufacturing overhead. And this problem, in this example, actually carries over from the previous exercise. So if you did not watch the one on variable manufacturing overhead, uh, go ahead and do that. Um, this is example two, and this is a continuation of example one. So let's go ahead here and relook at the entire question and then the new part for exercise 22 here. Okay, Esquire Clothing is a manufacturer of designer suits. The cost of each suit is a sum of three variable costs. So the three variable costs are what? Direct materials, direct manufacturing labor costs, and manufacturing overhead costs. And then we have one fixed cost category of manufacturing overhead costs. Variable manufacturing overhead cost is allocated to each suit on the basis of budgeted direct manufacturing labor hours per suit. For June 2017, each suit is budgeted to take four out labor hours, four labor hours. Budgeted variable manufacturing overhead cost per labor hour is $12. The budgeted number of suits to be manufactured in June 2017 is 1,040 suits. Actual variable manufacturing costs in June 2017 were $52,164 for 1,080 suits started and completed. There were no beginning or ending inventories of suits. Actual direct manufacturing labor hours for June were 4,536. And then Esquire Clothing allocates fixed manufacturing overhead to each suit using budgeted direct manufacturing labor hours per suit. And data pertaining to fixed manufacturing overhead costs for June are budgeted 62,400 and actual 63,916. So we're asked to compute the spending variance for fixed manufacturing overhead. And then we're asked to compute the production volume variance for June 2017. And what inferences can we draw from this variance? So, okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at computer actual costs. And we're given that for fixed manufacturing overhead, 63,916. So 63,916. Now, for our static budget, the same budget of lump sum as in static budget, regardless of output level. And this is going to be the same as our flexible budget. Why is that? Because we do not have an efficiency component to fix manufacturing costs. We only have a spending. How much did we spend? Did we spend more or less? But we cannot be efficient with uh, fixed costs. So... So there will never be an efficiency variance here. So let's see. Efficiency variance. And that is none. But what is my spending variance? I did spend more in fixed costs. So my actual costs incurred were 63916 for fixed costs, I should have only spent 62400 so what is that variance? So let's go ahead, 63916 minus 62400 and I come up with a spending variance of unfavorable of $1,516. So $1,516, and that's unfavorable. Why? Because our total cost came in higher than we should have. And that is my spending variance. And so my total flexible budget variance, and what is that? If we don't remember, my flexible budget variance is simply the com combination or the netting together of my spending variance and my efficiency variance. So for fixed manufacturing overhead, my spending variance, since I have no efficiency variance, my spending variance is going to equal my flexible budget variance of $1,516 unfavorable. Now, with fixed overhead, 
we are going to have a production volume variance since we have no efficiency variance. So this is my production volume variance. And what is that going to be? Well, that's going to be for the flexible budget, same as static budget. But for here, I am going to need to take um, my budget compute a fixed overhead rate. So I need to, even though it's fixed, I still need an overhead rate to allocate. And why do I need to do that with uh, fixed costs and not variable costs? Because this is tied directly to capacity and how well or, or unwell, you know, not so good, did we use capacity. So what is my actual fixed overhead rate? Okay, my actual fixed overhead rate is going to be what? 60, how much should I budget? 62,400. Uh, by how much should I, should I have budgeted for direct, or uh, for direct labor hours? And let's see. Okay, my budget direct labor hours was the original 1,040 hours we are taking times four hours per unit. So if I take 1,040 times four hours per unit, that gives me $4,160. So I'm going to take my, and so that gives me, so I'm going to take my 62,400, 62,400 divided by 4,160 labor hours that we expected to incur based on the and let's see, we get an overhead rate of $15 per hour. So now how much should I actually allocate? Well, I allocated $15 per hour times the number of hours I act, uh, I should have used based on producing 1,080 suits that I actually produced. So how many labor hours should I have used? 1,080 hours times four hours per suit. So in the making of 1,080 suits, I should have used $4,320. I'm going to multiply that by the fixed rate of $15 per hour. And that gives me a production or a rate here of 64800 Now, is that favorable or unfavorable? Well, remember that this is my uh, budget level for flexible budget for fixed costs. So, and my allocated, I allocated more than I needed to. So what did I do? I am over allocated. So since I'm over allocated, I have, I over allocated I have a favorable variant production volume variance of $2,400. So let's go ahead and mark that here. And this is because I allocated more than the amount in the flexible budget here. So I over allocated that amount. And the difference here in the production volume variance is 2400 and remember that with fixed overhead, we had never have an efficiency variance, but we do have a production volume variance. Whereas in variable overhead, we have an efficiency variance, but we never have a production volume variance. So, um, so we, uh, so what can we uh, inquire, or what inferences can we draw? We probably used our capacity much more, uh, much better because we produce more suits um, than we had planned. So is market share growing? If market share is not growing or it is growing, are we gaining market share? Will Esquire need to add capacity? Those are going to be some questions that Esquire company will need to look at uh, when analyzing this production volume variance. Okay, that's all for this example. This is Leroy Meadows. Have a good day.